this is the chart of nifty okay so yesterday we were basically discussing that by any chance we get a trade uh, we can actually catch it at the high breakout so this is an exponential move that is happening continuing to happen as an exponential move next level of resistance is going to be at uh, 20k nifty at 20k is definitely going to be the next level of resistance so we today also we have a gap up opening so at this moment i don't uh, i won't recommend anybody to take any fresh longs because already the markets have picked up so what we can actually watch out for is a gap fill in trade so by any chance the day's low is getting broken there could be a short trade that can be taken meanwhile i'll show you my running positions so with respect to my this thing so these are the positions that i have currently running at almost 1.5 lakhs profit okay so 37k booked loss and around 1.88 lakhs unbooked pnl so that is net 1.5 lakhs profit is what we have for right now uh, with respect to the positions okay so i'm already long okay i'm not taking any fresh buy no fresh buys are being taken at this point in time so i'll wait for the price to come back okay to this particular level today any particular intraday trade that i'm to take i will actually wait for the price to come back to this particular level break this level check for a gap filling okay or i need uh, the price to consolidate here for some time at least till one o'clock then i'll try to trade a reversal so till then no trade okay so that was the reason for the delay also so no trade as long as the price breaks the day slow or i need the price to consolidate here for another like uh, till like 12 31 if it stays zigzag then again it falls down then i'll go for a sell opportunity so till then better no trade okay so lloyd let's quickly have a look at lloyd daily time frame so lloyd if you have a look at it it's still still continuing to show us a bearish stand so nothing much to do over here also so when it kind of comes to nifty uh from the start onwards it has been like extremely bullish price just touched the yesterday's high uh once then from there it's picked up so i won't recommend you to go for any buy but still if you if you are desperately looking for a buy opportunity, then something like this with a small risk can be taken. Expecting the price to uh, move up by another 0.3 percentage. It will be like a 1 is to 1.75 trade. So, day's high breakout. Do you want uh, to take this? What do you think? What do you think, guys? Do you want to take this? Day high breakout rate. Yes, sir. I'm already long. Quantity. The reason I told you I'm not taking. Okay, but still, if you want, you can consider. Uh, but already it has picked up. I'm already long. So if market is picking up, I'll make more money. Okay. So since I'm already long, I don't think. But still, just for showing you guys, I can show you a dummy trade. I'll just take a trade just for the sake of showing you guys. Okay. Nifty future. Just for demonstration purpose, I myself am not taking this because I'm already long. Okay, day side breakout is almost happening. So we'll go for a buy at the high with a stop loss at the low. Uh, risk is like 30 points target will keep almost 1 is to 2 uh, 50 60 points target i'll consider going for a buy at 19 uh, 997 i'll place a buy order place a buy order 19 and okay i'll just place a buy order over here and uh, I'll place a stop loss stop loss order for this. Also, so we're in the trade. 
okay i'll place a stop loss order for this below the swing low that is at 19965 19965 i'll place a stop loss order Nineteen nine six five. I'll place a stop loss order, uh, for this particular trade. Okay, so my view is continuing to be bullish. So I entered uh this particular trade, uh, with a bullish outlook. Okay, so I consider this to be uh the day's high getting broken out. Okay, from here. So once the high just got broken, I went for an entry. Okay, uh, this is just. For the sake of showing you, this is not my actual size. I already told you I'm already long. Okay, so already I'm long. That is the reason I didn't do more quantity. This is just a dummy order just to show you guys. Okay, so now either the target or my stop loss. So let's see what happens. Fine. So I'll catch up with you guys. So right now it is like a slow move. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys again. I'll update you. I uh, will catch up for a live again. So this is the position that we have taken for now. Okay. So for now, I'm just quickly winding up and uh, we'll catch up uh, to update the results. This is a swing high breakout that we have traded. Okay. Why don't join Jen? Sir, when will we catch up? I mean. What manually? No, I'm telling that when will we catch up again? Uh, either one source stop loss or target is there. See, okay. for me, I want the market to go bullish today. Well, that's that's when I'll actually make good money. Okay, I seriously don't want it to go bearish. So this particular thing, if you ask, like this is kind of a late entry. And the swing high breakout is kind of like a late entry, but still it is okay. Uh, because we can get a almost a 1 to 2 risk reward ratio. So we're taking a risk of almost 30 points, uh, trying to capture like 60 points. So let's see how it goes. Okay. So this particular swing high, uh, like uh, uh, like testing the swing high, the price actually just trying to pick up is where we actually took up our entry. So let's see if it continues to move up or not. Okay, our stop loss is below this. Clear? Uncle, sir, uh, any quick questions on this part? Why I consider this? I consider this to be the day's high uh, level. This is also a swing level. Market was looking bullish. So as soon as the price actually just touched this particular high level, tried to pick up above this, I entered. Okay, I'm considering this to be my stop loss because below this particular point, I feel that market could go bearish. Clear? Any quick questions? Bank Nifty is also looking strong at this point in time. So I feel it is going to continue moving up. Okay. Uh, Axis Bank, HDFC, Kotak Mahindra, SBI, ICICI Bank, everything is looking good. Fine. So these are the positions we have for now. We need it to go like really bullish. It'll be great for us. Okay. So I hope this is a great day for all of us. Let's see. Okay. So again, we'll catch up uh, to discuss the results. So for now, I think it'll be slow. So I'm just having a quick meeting also in between. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'll keep you posted. Okay. Any questions, okay. guys, just let me know. Anything you want to ask over here. Anything you guys would like to ask over here? Okay. So cool. So for now, I'll just quickly wind up. Sir, this level, uh, this level will consider as a resistance or support level. This is a resistance level right now. If it is broken, okay. they'll convert to the new support. Okay. Okay. All the yeah. resistance will act as a new support. Okay. If if broken, then it will be support level, right? Yeah. If it is broken, then it'll convert to new support. So my assumption okay. is this is going to be broken soon. <clears throat> Everything else is also oh. looking bullish. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, one more thing. So in between, we had some sell-off coming in. So here, if I have a look at it, initially we had like slight sell-off coming in, but soon market responded in a bullish manner. It pushed it up. Okay. So that validates my bullish view further. So initially, small sell-off came in, but good buying pressure came in, and price got pushed up. So I'm continuing to have a bullish time. Okay. So thank you all. I'll just quickly take a break for now. I have taken a long position to show you. And apart from that, these are the bullish positions running for me. So I'm continuing to have a bullish view. Okay, thank you. We'll catch up again.